Debbie Meyer green bags and Debbie Meyer green boxes. She's always been the one to help keep fresh food fresher. Well, now we're going to tackle frozen food. If you've never seen the Debbie Meyer Genius Vac, this is a vacuum sealer that is not big, is not bulky, doesn't take up half your countertop, and oh boy, is it loved. It's just back in stock after selling out in January, $19.95. It comes with 10 bags as well. Um, the amazing Debbie Meyer is our Monday night showstopper here on the Monday night show. How are you? Hi. <laughs> okay, you have promised me this for so long, and it's been out of stock for so long. Where should we start with this? Let's start with the, the actual thing. This is my Debbie Meyer Genius Vac. Look at this machine. It's a small machine. It fits in the palm of your hand. Operates with one button, no tubes, no anything to attach. And this little machine is a powerful vacuum sealer. So powerful that it is going to save you lots and lots of money we like all that. the time. Because you know me for being keeping your fresh food fresh longer. Now you know me for keeping you fresh in the freezer as well. So let me just show you, first of all, this is the unit. You're gonna get 10 of my bags, five of the quarts, five of the, um, of the gallons, but one single button in the palm of your hand, finished. Talk about Father's Day. This is excellent for fishermen. I'm gonna yeah. show it to you, fishermen, hunters, and I'm gonna, a lot of them, yeah, let me yeah. know about them. But let's come over to the freezer first because I want to show you what this means to you in terms of real money saving. Okay, because I love science, but I love money. That's the best bit. <laughs> and I hate throwing away money or food. So, who has ever put steak in the yeah. refrigerator and ended up with this? Yeah, not good. Yes, okay. See that on the top, that perma thing? Yeah. Perma, it looks like permafrost. Okay, the freezer burn is not just the frost on top of the food. It is molecularly changing the food. Okay. It is drawing out all the freezer, the cold of the freezer is drawing out all the moisture, freezing it on top of the food, it's turned that food into leather. Okay. You can never get the moisture back in. Okay. It's as simple as that, you just can't get it back in. So, instead of doing this with your food, seal it in my Debbie Meyer Genius Vac bags, and the difference is the same time steak will be like that instead. Now that looks more appetizing. Now that steak, actually, it's actually vacuum sealed and frozen for the same period of time. I get to eat the steak, this I get to throw away. Yeah. yeah. That which, as you know, breaks my heart. Yeah. So, like, we'll talk about other things too. Chicken, you go to the grocery store and you buy a bag of these chicken breasts, okay? Sure. Have a look in the bottom. It's already got frost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That frost has changed those chicken breasts. Those chicken breasts are now dry and hard, and they will never be what you thought they were going to be when you when you purchased them. Right. So instead of doing this, because you know what? When there's air in a packaging, the air in the packaging is what is causing the freezer burn. Yeah. Because it's allowing that moisture to be drawn out right. of the food. So when you vacuum seal, you have this instead. That or this. Permafrost or a really good chicken that yeah, you're going to throw yeah. on the grill tonight. All right, that's, that is money, real money. When you're buying in bulk, this is how you save money as well. I will not pay somebody to cut up a piece of salmon for right, me. So right. I like to buy it like this. However, if you put it in the refrigerator, in the freezer like this, it turns into this. It happens. Instead, I portion it out, vacuum seal it, and it's like this at the same time. This is vacuum sealed. There is no air in there, and that is why it will stay fresh in the freezer. Debbie Meyer is fresh in the freezer, and I do have an announcement That's to make, folks. Um, if you have been one of the folks who've been emailing and asking for the extra bags, <laughs> I do have some news. And in fact, maybe our wonderful producer, Allison, if you would be so kind to flip our details to show everybody, you can buy tonight 20 of the one quart for $14.95 or 20 of the one gallon for $17.95. Uh, but we do have the extra bags available, about 2,000 of each. If you've needed new bags, today's a day to stock yes, up. Yes, okay, you can stop emailing me because I know you've been asking <laughs> for them. And, I, and I'm sorry, but we, you know, we sold out back in January and we've been trying to get them back in. So here is the unit again. It is cordless. You don't have to recharge it. It, ha it, comes, with, it comes with the batteries, six batteries. Six AA batteries are in there. You don't have to do anything except except press a button. So here we have, I'm gonna show you its power. Look at this, this a can. Now you're not gonna vacuum seal a can to keep a can, right? But I'm gonna show you the power. All you do is put items into my bags. Now my bags actually reopen because they are sealed with a zip seal on top. So you can take some things out and put and reseal them. This is what I'm gonna show you. There's the valve right there. See the circle, it's a flat yep. circle. There's a circle on the end of the vacuum sealer. It's circle to circle and push a button. And it's a, now watch that. It's small but mighty, Debbie. Absolutely. 
Now, we're going to crush a can just to show Look you the you, power. Wonder Woman, yeah? I can, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it was my thumb. <laughs> so you can crush a can down to there, but how do you control this? Right. Because you have the control with a touch of a button. So I can do delicate things like my strawberries. Maybe I want to, I make, free, I make uh, what do you call them? Um, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's like You're the best so thing game. Good. I don't know, what yeah. is it? You know, like when I want to make shakes in the morning. A uh, protein shake. Smoothie. Smoothie, smoothie. <laughs> what is wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs> what we want to make... <laughs> I don't know what I can't to say. Be around here. I'm going to want to make smoothies, so I make smoothie packs that I keep in my freezer, and I have the control. Watch, I stopped right on a dime, so that my my strawberries are vacuum sealed, and I can throw them in the freezer. Right. But I didn't crush them. Right. All right. So this is how you save big money. We go bulk shopping. That's what you want to buy because that is a lot cheaper than sure. buying one or two, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay? So then. I can portion control. Maybe my husband wants a piece of chicken for dinner and I want a steak, or the other way around. Sure. So I can put one in each, and I can simply vacuum seal them. Watch, one, two, three, four, I've got a vacuum seal steak. That's easy. That's how easy it is. So that means you can take this with you. Yeah. I have people who tell me they're hunter men, hunters and fishermen who love to, they'll gut the fish on the boat, clean it, fillet it, put it in bags right and seal it. And when they come home, honey, I'm home, yeah, yeah. but I'm home with clean fish, right? And it's already portion controlled. You can throw it right into the freezer. And bear this in mind, so simple. this will go in the drawer. So, and again, folks, because as, as we expect here at 1995 and five flex pay, we're very busy and five flex pay. And remember, you get 10 packs included. Yes. And um, all the batteries. All the batteries. You don't need to buy anything else for it. The only thing obviously is if you'd like extra bags, uh, the one thing to bear in mind when Debbie does this we all know this is the way to do it but big expensive bulky vacuum sealers which cost hundreds of dollars are always an issue you know it's a lot of money to lay out. I don't out. have the space for that. Right. I have a countertop but I don't have the space for that so you know we like to do we like we actually buy extra pizza and then we freeze extra it. Extra pizza is always good, extra, Debbie. I like well, that. Well, you know, it's hard to believe we can have extra <laughs> pizza. But then I actually go, I do this, watch it, see the air coming out of the bag. Yeah. I'm making a vacuum seal in this bag. I can throw that in the freezer, and when somebody comes home late and wants a snack, they pull it out of the freezer yeah. and yeah. put it right in the oven. Yeah. Okay, bacon. How do you keep bacon. bacon fresh? How do you keep bacon fresh? How do you keep bacon? What you do is you vacuum seal it, and that's so you don't get that slimy stuff yes. right here. Portion control for me, but it is sealed. I don't pay people to cut things up for me or portion control. I want to buy this, oh, yeah. and I turn it into individual portions. I in the in the gallon bag, you can put two or three or four sure. of things in there. Here's a big piece of salmon. I even do this. If I know someone's coming home late, I'll actually make their dinner, put it on a plate, I and vacuum you. seal it. Yeah, it's wonderful. So okay. Coffee. Why is it like this? Why is it a brick when you buy it in the grocery store? Right. Because it's vacuum it's the best sealed. Way. No air is in there, so the volatile oils that's in the coffee don't go rancid because coffee goes rancid very sure. quickly. But as soon as you open it, as you open that package, and what do you get? This. Yeah. A bag full of coffee. Yeah. Right. So all you do is put it in one of my bags. I keep this in the refrigerator because what I do every morning is I take out the coffee I need, and then I turn it back into the brick that we bought in the grocery store, you see it? Turn it into Same thing. the brick. Bear in mind as well that when you look at this, it's notice how simple and fast and easy it is it's that Debbie's so doing. There's nothing complicated about it. It's a $20 kitchen tool that saves you money again and again and again oh. and again. Now, the 10 bags that you get with, you can reuse it also. Um, I'm conscious that we only have eight minutes left. Folks, we are getting a lot of questions about the bags, and I just want to be clear. If you already have Debbie's Genius Bag and you need extra bags, we do have them back in stock as of 7 p.m. tonight. <laughs> We're doing a, a special on a 20 count of the one quart. It's $14.95 for 20 of them, or a 20 count of the one gallon for only $17.95. So, Debbie, what would you recommend when you pick up the today, uh, well, today special? It's like a today special. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. When you pick it up, maybe get a set of bags to go with it as well? Absolutely, because you're going to get 10 to begin with. You're going to get five of each size, five of the gallons and five of the quarts with it. So right out of the box, it's, it's Right, you're good to go. Right? 
but I would recommend you buy extras because you're gonna find so many ways to use yeah. this. I have another table full of items that aren't all food. Right. Because there are many ways that you can use this. Take it along with you. I take it every time I travel because it fits in the palm of my hand, yep. fits in my, in yep. my bag, even in my carry-on. I just turned brown sugar into a brick. Yeah, magical. And we like brown sugar yes. soft when we want to use it, right? So I open the bag and it is now soft again. Yeah. I can reseal this as many times as I want. This goes in my pantry. So in my pantry, it's actually like a filing cabinet. I have this sealed, I have this next to it. Look how little space I'm taking so up. So organized. And it's just standing next to each other. So, oops, I'm knocking things off the table. <laughs> so again, I told you I'm, okay, I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm, Me too, that's what we get on hey, so that's what we get along. <laughs> I don't want to pay for somebody else to make me snack bags right. for my, my grandchildren and my kids to go hiking. Yep. So I buy a big bag of snack mix, right? Then I make my own trail mix, my own nuts, my own little bags of snacks. I don't even do 100, I will make my own 100 calorie packs. I don't blame you. Know, you. on the back of the bag it says how much makes, how many calories per. Right? Sure. You, you know how to measure with a cup. Yep, yep. Measure into my bags, make your own snack bags, and they can open open them up on the trail and help themselves to as much as they want. If they don't eat it all, they come back with it and you can seal it. You can take this with you anywhere. Come on over here because I want to talk again about saving money. And by the way, the batteries okay. come included. I mean, a five flex pay of $3.99. <laughs> the batteries. <laughs> you get the batteries, you get the Debbie Meyer Genius Pack, and you get 10 bags in various assorting sizes. I mean, it's a wonderful deal to get a product that Debbie has had so much success with over oh, the years. Millions. Saving us money. Yeah, and now, you know, honestly, like, when we talk about things like how many of my green bags and how many of my green boxes, we stopped counting these. We stopped counting the bags because it's just been so many millions and millions. And what that means is that people know that when you take the air out of packaging, we talk about original packaging. Original packaging is nothing but a transportation device. If you close it up and you seal it, you do whatever, put a clip on it, whatever it is, throw it in the freezer. Yeah. You haven't eliminated anything. You've actually sealed in the air. Yeah, the yeah, air yeah. is still in there. Unless you vacuum seal it, you are going to have problems when you go right, to taste right, it. Right. Everything will be stale. So we go to the grocery store or the big box store and I buy this big hunk of cheese. Now, yeah. I could keep it like this in my refrigerator and cut off what I want, but most of the time I want to freeze some of it because it's too much. I cut it into portions and nice. I freeze it like this. I also do my own cheese tray. I pre-slice these things, slide them into one of my bags. Somebody comes over, I pull this out of the freezer, yeah. put it on a plate. I have an instant cheese tray because cheese thaws very, very sure. quickly. So that's how you that's how you can save money. Be prepared. I love hot dogs. Me too. They turn to slime. Yes, no they do. Time I won't eat slimy bag. hot dogs. No, I will not either. So this is what you do. You simply put them in one of my bags. The ones you have left over, don't try to reseal them in that package because it will not work. These, you see, they're there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you can close. This is a zip seal on the top and you can just close it with your fingers. I just make sure that's nice and closed. And then you can seal. And I love everything. I love summer sausage. I love cheese. And I probably didn't use my fingers well enough. <laughs> oh, I, I felt it. I just popped. You okay. saw that two-minute clock appear. Uh, That's oh, why we started panicking. Make me nervous. <laughs> All right. So see, it's just circle to circle and down on the valve. There we go. One, two, three. Boop. I've got fresh hot dogs next time I want them. Throw them in the it fridge. It tells you if it's doing it wrong because you'll see it's not there. It's not there. Joyce in Tennessee has ordered Cora in oh, North Carolina. Yes. And Joan in Michigan, congratulations. Just incidentally, if you look back in the history book, because this is even better than when Debbie's had her anniversary shows, we've taken yes. the price down, increased the number of bags that come along with it, included the batteries, and put it on five flex pays <laughs> for something that whether we live alone or it's a larger family, we can absolutely help to preserve that food. Portion yes. control, yes. yes. Freezer burn, say goodbye. That's the big money. When you when it's freezer burn, that is your money straight into the garbage. But this is another trick that I love. Well, I have grandchildren and they grow out of their clothes. Yeah. Don't you want to save them just in case you get another grandchild? Yeah, there you go. So you pile them up nice and neat and that's how big it is, right? That's a lot of space. Right. 
when you vacuum seal them into one of my bags, that's the space. So when we travel with our grandkids, I do the same thing. Right. I put all their little bits and pieces because I don't want to lose one of those little purple socks right. someplace. All right, I'm a grandma. I don't want broken crayons in my purse. So I travel with their crayons, all vacuum sealed. Everybody in the plane loves me because they don't go in anybody, <laughs> going anywhere. This is how I travel with all of my goodies, all sealed up. We live in hurricane country. Everybody yeah. in this country lives somewhere that yes. they something. So you can seal up your important papers and keep them together and keep them dry. But you know what? You don't have to cut a bag to open it and then find, and then use electricity. Yeah. What if you don't have electricity? Right, right. And you want to reseal something. You don't need electricity with mine. It is handheld, cordless. You don't have to recharge it. And of course, batteries are available everywhere. Uh, another trick my sterling silver, these are my bracelets. These, I can't tell you how long they've been in here, but that's those are not tarnishing because that's there is no idea. air wow. in there. So you can put in your silver, your yeah. silver service as well as long as you put a little piece of paper on the on the forks. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll pop it. <laughs> okay. So whether it's breads, I showed you control, control, control. These breads are not squashed flat because they're in there. I keep first aid kits in the car because I also can reseal it any time I like. If you go boating, if you go camping, if you go anywhere where you want to keep things dry, this is how you can keep them dry. Here is all, all kinds of dry goods. For instance, here's my beans for my, my husband loves to make split pea soup. Lovely. So we have lots of, uh, lots of split peas. That's Andrew Lessman's favorite, oh, Debbie. That's his favorite. Oh, that's, I love split pea soup. But this is how I keep it because, you know, they come in a little, cell I didn't seal it. They come in a little cellophane bag from the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that thing is not keeping anything fresh. And I don't care if you try to reseal it, it's not going to happen. So here, remember, circle to circle, put it down, oops, and push the button. And you will see it. There it goes. One, two, three. It is now. Guys, boom, boom, boom. If Done. you want those extra, it was fascinating to me to see this, but we've